Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of how to make a top-down shooter in superpowers. Today's topic will be aiming with the mouse. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to um, make a correction from the last video. Uh, someone actually pointed this out in the comments. Um, and basically, in the last video I said that the update function updates 60 times a second but it does not. It actually updates once every frame as I put here and you can actually change how many frames there are per second your FPS in the settings right here and for our game we're just gonna have it set to 60. So you'll see in the game scene I've made this um, little ground plane a uh, cubic model. It's just a white box that's 200 by 1 by 200 and I just put it in the scene. So yeah, let's go into the player controller. Or actually, let's go ahead and open up the game so we can see what's happening. Because I've already got it set up. Alright, so as you can see, I moved the mouse around and the game I and the player looks where the mouse is uh, going. So what's happening? We are firing out rays from the camera towards the mouse position. And what we're doing is also creating a plane that will be intersected with the rays and we're getting the point of intersection between the ray and the plane and we're telling the game object or the player to look at the point of intersection. So let's go ahead and take a look at the script. So first off, um, I also set the speed of the player to 0 0.05. I thought it was better. So first off, we're going to create the plane. We're creating the plane for our ray to hit. So we're going to go ahead and do let plane equals new sup dot math dot plane parentheses sup dot math dot vector three dot down it's very important that this is dot down nothing else comma zero close parentheses and then what that does is it will create the ray for or create the plane for our ray to hit Next, we're going to create the ray, and in order to do this, we do let ray equal new sup dot math dot ray open and close parentheses. Um, and the reason we're not putting anything inside these parentheses is because superpowers automatically does that for us. And whatever it doesn't do for us, we assign in this next script or in this next line of code. So we're going to do what the first line did. All it did was make a ray. For it now we have to make the ray shoot out from the camera and go at our mouse position. So we can do this by doing ray dot set from camera open parentheses sup dot get actor. What we're doing here is we're going to get our camera component sup.getActor, open parentheses, and then we're going to put the name of your camera actor, or of the actor that has the camera component. The name of my actor is cam, close parentheses, dot camera, and that will be the camera component. Then you're going to put a comma, sup.input, Dot get mouse position and what this is telling it to do is it's going to set from the camera then we have to put in a camera component for it to set the ray from then we're putting in the position of where it to go of where it needs to go which is the mouse position now we're going to check for hits with the plane and in order to do this we do let hit equal ray dot intersect plane open parentheses, plane, 
close parentheses. And it's very important that these two are matching. So it's finding the plane that we just created. And that's why they're the same name. In the next line, we're going to be making the player look where the mouse is aimed, or more accurately, where the ray hits the plane. And in order to do this, we do this dot actor. We're going to get the player or whatever actor the script is attached to dot look at the hit which is wherever the ray intersects with the plane dot point and the point is the vector 3 of where the hit was now we're gonna need to keep the player's axis at zero and if we don't do this watch what happens Just go ahead and load up superpowers or the game. This is what it does. Our player kind of looks down at the ground where it is, but we don't want it to look down. We want it to look straight. So unless you want this, I don't know why you would want this. Uh, you can leave that line of code out, but we don't want this. It's you see it's kind of looking down at the ground, which we don't want. So we're going to add in this line of code, which is this dot actor dot set the earlier x to zero. And this is going to basically keep the x rotation of our player, which is this from being anything other than zero. And then that's uh, it for that episode. Um, if you guys are having any problems or need help or have questions, make sure to comment down below or tweet me at I write the code. Next episode, we will most likely be covering shooting uh, mm, or um, creating bullets that will fly whenever we click out of the player. So you guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode.